Welcome to episode number 309 of this Bobby Crosby Road to the Show series, and uh, I might already be at 400,000 subscribers. I do not know. I might th be there. I film these episodes in advance, several hours in advance, and uh, if I'm there, that is awesome. Thank you very much for subscribing, and I will announce the winner tomorrow of the uh, PS4 giveaway contest. That will happen in a video tomorrow. Not sure which one, but one of the three videos tomorrow will announce the winner, and then I will be shipping that thing out to the winner as soon as I get the winner's address. Tomorrow, you'll have it gone. Get out. Is that going to be up on the hill? Is he going to be able to catch it, or is that just over? I think it's just gone, and... Oh! Off the flagpole! It banged off the flagpole. Awesome. First pitch I see in this episode. Possibly the first pitch I see in an episode after getting 400,000 subscribers. I do not know. Goes directly off the flagpole in center field. I didn't see how high up it was when it hit it, but you can hear the bang. And you saw it ricochet off, and that's uh, 461 feet. Oh, one foot off. Seriously? Seriously? One foot off? That's painful. It's pain. I went from pure ecstasy to just pure pain in my heart for being one. Watch this. Flagpole. American flag. And taking dead aim for it. And right off the American flagpole. That's awesome. It's hard to get more accurate than that. I mean, Superman can do it from the softball series, um, but that's about it. Nobody else really has that kind of accuracy. I mean, maybe Chris Bryant. Maybe Chris Bryant could do it. Uh, but yeah, just him and Soup. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Babe Ruth, back in the day, you know, if you bring him back to life like I have, actually, um, he could probably do it as well. If, you know, you gave him four or five chances. Like, they're not going to do it on the first try. Hit a flagpole 460 feet away. But uh, give them four or five tries. They'll do it. They'll find a way. That one's gone. Oh, the no doubter. The behind the back bat flip to just show up everyone. Show up all the Red Sox. They're not happy with Crosby right now. He's hitting flagpoles. He's doing behind the back flips. Interesting camera angle there. We see the third base coach's bottom, I believe. Um... How far did that go? I couldn't really see where it landed. I have almost no idea how far this went. I'm going to say 418. 418? 375. 43 feet off. But I couldn't see where it landed. I didn't know. It's kind of tough in ballparks like this. Rod Baldwin is up. He's got decent facial hair. It's not bad, that mustache. Um, Tom Selleck had a good mustache back in the day. Um, you haven't heard of him most of you who I'm talking to, but Tom Selleck was and remains to some people, you know, uh, an icon. He's an iconic figure, Tom Selleck. And not just for his mustache, you know, he's got some acting skills too. Uh, he can play baseball pretty well too. He had a baseball movie. That's gone. No, it's not. He's going to turn around and catch it. What a jerk. Why did he... I didn't even get to second base before he caught it. Eh, that was a bad at bat. That was not a productive at bat. You know, sometimes you get out and it's a productive at bat, or at least, you know, it can inspire confidence or, you know, boost morale for the team if you, like, hit a long fly ball that's, you know, caught at the wall or something. Uh, but that at bat did nothing good for anybody whatsoever. It was very bad, just like this one. Two consecutive pointless at bats that helped nothing, unless maybe he, no, he did not drop it. So that was crap. That was quite a bit of, of crap there. Like, you see the movie Godzilla that came out like 1998? There was a scene where there was just a large amount of Godzilla um, crap on the ground, and that's what that at bat reminded me of. Um, oh, I have to homer here. Walk off. No, but that's going to tie the game. Should I go for the inside the parker to end it? No. You have to score. Person in front of me, you have to. Okay, he did. And stay right there. No, 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 stay right there. Throw it away. Okay, game's tied. I don't want to take any risks. Game's tied. I can score the winning run. Two-run double. Tied the game. Bottom nine. Now Chris Bryant can drive me home to win it. This is fun now. This is fun. This is exciting. We are on a pennant race. We're only like five games ahead of the Angels. And I'm stealing. I'm stealing. And I'm safe. Awesome. Okay, stole third. 90 feet away. There's nobody out. Ground ball can possibly score me. Sack fly can, of course, score me. Ooh, 3-1 count. Should I just steal home to end it? No. With nobody out, I'm in Chris Bryan up. I am not going to be stealing home. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will not do that. Home run. 
Strike, 3 2. This is exciting. This is exciting now. This is some serious excitement. Let's win it. No. I can't tag up on that, Chris. You got to hit the ball a little farther for me to be able to tag up and score. I'm not quite that fast. I can't run literally 130 miles an hour. And that's how fast I would have had to have ran to have tagged up and scored on that little pop-up. Come on, buddy. Okay, I don't even know who's up now. A human man is up, but I do not know his name. He's number 35. 3-5. Come on, 3-5. You got this. You got this, 3-5. Oh, foul ball. Is it 0-2 now? What's the count? It's 1-2. Uh, if this guy doesn't score me, I might try to steal home. I might try to steal home. 2-2 two, two count. This is dramatic. This is dramatic. Come on, 3-5. You got this. No one better. One of my teammates just yelled out, no one better. Yes! Yes! Walk off! Game over. Crosby scores the winning run. I should have slid head first there. I did not slide. I was just happy that we won, that we picked up another game on the Angels almost certainly. Yes, there's my buddy. There's 3-5. Oh, I love him. I love 3-5. His name still eludes me, but he's number 35. He's awesome. Let's play one more game. Oh, Crosby not starting this game, coming in as a pinch hitter. Seriously? That is odd. That's the fr I haven't seen this in forever, Crosby pinch hitting. Usually he starts. Oh, walk-off. Bottom nine, two men on. I get a walk-off right now. Oh, my God. Gone to center. Go. Go! Get out! Flagpole shot! You just missed it, but gone! Walk off home run! On consecutive pitches that I see, the Astros hit walk offs. I score the winning run on both of them. Although I only hit the ball on one of them. Awesome! Look at this! Walk off central is Houston right now. This is sweet. I love it. I love it. Pinch hit hero. This manager, this Houston manager, whatever his name is, he knows what he's doing. I mean, he doesn't start me this game, but then I had to pinch it, walk off, free run, home run, win by one. Um, this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. Check out this swing. I almost hit another foul uh, flag pole. I think I said foul pole earlier, accidentally. Flag pole. I mean, that would have been sweet to hit two flag poles or hit the flag pole twice in one episode. I was aiming; it was just sailing right out there, right towards it, but missed it by about oh six feet, something like that. Awesome. Let's play one more. Okay, I get to start this game. Nice. Um, I'm just aiming for that American flagpole. That's what I am aiming for. I would love to have an inside the park home run that bounces around up there on Tall's Hill. Uh, first, I'm going to have to catch this fly ball, though. Oh, it's gone. Can't catch that one. Go hide in my hidey spot. Yeah, yeah, go hide. Go hide. Yeah, right there. That's my corner. Just hide right there. Hide in your corner. All right. That's what I do when I'm sad. Because the home run's going way over my head. I just go into that corner and hide so they can't see my pain, can't see my tears. Um, I just want them to look at the ball. Just watch the ball sailing right out there for some fan to catch, hopefully. And just don't don't look at my sadness. That's, where is that? Is that going to be caught? It is going to be caught by a jerk, probably. Probably by a fictional jerk. Um, not sure who caught it. But if he was fictional, then he's probably a jerk. Most fictional characters are jerks, unfortunately. That's just the way fiction is. Because uh, you need conflict in fiction. You need, like, bad things to happen. So there are often jerks in stories. You, usually you should have at least one nice guy in a story. Uh, I per, uh, personally think 18% um, of characters in stories should be nice. But uh, but even then, that means 82% are mean. So there are mean people in stories. That's just a little lesson there, a little boring lesson on on fiction in general. Uh, we're losing five to nothing, and that means there's a lot of jerks on the Red Sox who keep scoring. Oh, I've got that. I've got that moonwalk. Moonwalk catch. Two quick moonwalks. Crosby's number 97. I get this question all the time, so I'll go ahead and answer it again right now. I wear number 97 because I got season tickets in 1997 for the Dodgers. And Joe Bimel, one of my favorite players of all time, wears number 97. He was a Dodger for a few years. That's gone. That's gone. Not into the second deck. That's a good 448. 448 feet, though. That was crushed. It probably doesn't look quite that far, but it is. Because I know if you hit the back wall of the bullpen in that corner right there where it went over... 
that it's um that it's about 435 feet and this went into the stands first or second row so it's got to be at least 13 feet farther than that you know what 449 449 yes i use science i use math i got it exactly right i got it exactly freaking right i love this episode this episode's amazing two walk-offs so far in the first two games i hit one of them i scored on the other one i hit a f american flagpole and i was one foot off on that distance guess and then I guess this, this distance is exactly right by using science and math and all of the brain power that I have inside of my cranium. Uh, that's tough to do, you know, because um, sometimes it gets lost in the cranium and you can't find it. But I found it. I fished it out. Um, and I used it. And that's, that's good. That makes me feel good. But we're losing 11-4, to 4, and that's not good. But if we come back and win this in like walk off fashion, then all oh, that'll that'll make me happy. I can I can maybe I can maybe no that ain't good. All right, I got a buddy there helping out though. That guy's helping out. Oh boy, double off the wall. I would have liked to have caught that, but I just could not do it. It would have been robbing a home run anyway because I can't jump 30 feet in the air uh, even as a video game character who's like my perfect. Self still can't jump 30 feet hiding in my corner hiding in my corner we're losing by a lot of runs now like a million uh and the bases aren't even loaded when i come up so that ain't good nobody's on base we're down by 10 uh let's hit it to center let's try to hit it to center let's hit a flagpole no right field but gone let's guess this distance let's guess two in this episode come on that's about 424 424 because this is over to the right side of that bullpen and it did barely get over but it's the right side so it'll be less it'll be about 20 feet no 429 427 427 what do you think you think 428 seriously fine 428 hit me with it 417 11 feet off well, i don't like that i don't like that i don't like being 11 feet off that was not good i thought for sure i was gonna be within three feet there Oh, well, he can't win them all. I can catch that. I can catch that like a gazelle. Beautiful. I am currently wearing a like a gazelle t-shirt. You can't see it because I got this Team Bobby sweatshirt in the way. But I am wearing a like a gazelle t-shirt. And if you want to get any of the shirts or sweaters or hats or anything, go to softballcrew.com. And if you use promo code SANTA, 30% off discount of anything in the store. And if you order by December 16th, you'll get it in time for Christmas. Guaranteed delivery by Christmas. You'll have it under the tree Christmas morning if you order by December 16th, which is only like five days away. That is very, very soon. Oh, I'm scoring. Oh, that's too easy. Yes. That looked kind of cool with the line drive by Bryant going right by me. As I uh, as I run home, that was fun. That was cool. And now Alejandro Mitre, I believe I might have pronounced that wrong, is up. We're down 14 to eight, but we still got two more ups. Bottom eight, bottom nine, and oh, good backup dive. Got a backup dive. Give me up with the bases loaded. Down by three, bottom nine. No, we got that guy coming up. He's going down the line. He's going way down here, down the line. That's oh, gone. Can I get to my... I can't get to my Heidi spot in time, I don't think. Maybe I did. Yeah, I sort of did. All right. I just go and hide in my corner. Give me up. Give me up. Give me up. I'm up. We're down by seven, but only one out bottom eight. Two men on. This game's not over yet. This game is not over yet. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, I've hit a lot of home runs in this game. There's another one. Dead center. Flagpole. Another... At the... T oh, just missed the... Te oh! On a bounce, it hit off the Texas flagpole. But it's on a bounce, so it doesn't quite count. But yeah, hit off the Texas flagpole on the ricochet off that back wall. Third home run of the game. Um, this is 400 and... How about another 449er? Another 449-foot home run? Yeah, screw it. 449 feet. Do it to me twice. Oh, 462. 13 feet. Oh, that's it. We lose, I'm pretty sure. Ah, Castillo player. He had six RBIs. That's a nice game for that guy. Um, 
If you like this episode, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell all your friends about these videos. You know what I am going to see you in episode number 310.